Okay, today we're going to go ahead and learn about splicing. We're doing ABT 140, Aircraft Wiring and Practical Projects. Want to grab that kit? We're going to work on labs one and two today. Uh, we'll begin with project one, splices. With the splices, we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is the pre-insulated splice. All it is, oh, grab your student kit. Pre-insulated splice is nothing more than a splice that has insulation already wrapped around it. When you use a pre-insulated splice, when you use these, you're going to have to use your DMC crimpers. And the crimpers will have uh, different turret heads. With this turret head that I uh, already set up, we set up out of our kit, inside our kit here, the DMC kit, make sure that you use the right head for the right splice. I already uh, used the tool here to pop Use this tool here to pop out the different heads, pop out the different heads, stick it in, and now we're set. When I use this crimp, I'm going to work with 18 gauge wire. Since I'm working with 18 gauge wire, I look at my head here, and my head shows me 26 to 14. It also shows me 12 to 18. Well, I'm using the 26 to 14 because it gave me a nicer crimp. I'm simply going to open the handle, which is ratcheting. I put it in the splice, the keeper. When I put it in the keeper, it's just a little slot. This little, it's a wire stop. It's also used as a wire stop, but it's also a keeper for our splice. It's gonna hold it so I can lightly squeeze it to set it up. Lightly squeeze the ratchet device. It holds it nice and snug. Now I can, that, that, now that that's prepared, I'm gonna grab my 18 gauge wire. My 18 gauge wire, I'm going to use my mechanical strippers to strip it. I need to strip it the appropriate length. The appropriate length being, whoops, there it goes. The appropriate length is with the splice, I don't know if you can zoom in on that. Mm -hmm. With the splice, you're going to see that the wire, when I strip it, is going to go in and hit the wire stop. The wire stop is centered in the middle of that window. So when I strip it, I need to strip it so it hits the wire stop, then the wire will be stripped up to a little line on the middle of your blue splice. That little line must be the stop for the insulation, and then there's going to still be some more metal that's going to crimp on the insulation itself. I'll show you what I mean. So now I'm going to strip it. Going back to how we stripped them with uh, soldering, same way. It's 18 gauge wire, so I've got to hit the 18 gauge tooth. I'm going to strip it. Just pop it. I'm going to twist it off so I keep those strands nice and wound. And now I'm going to check the depth. Remember the wire needs to go into the splice and be seen in the window. That's going to be very hard to see. But I can, I'm going to put it in here. It's going to be seen in the window, but yet my wire length I'll, I'll put the wire on top. It's going to hit the window, but there's a little line where the insulation is going to hit the line, and yet there's still a little bit of metal here that's going to crimp on the insulation itself. So these crimpers have two crimp, crimping points. One on the, the tin wire, and number two on the insulation. So when I take my wire, shove it in, it's going to automatically hit the wire stop. Whoops, wrong direction. I'm going to put it in and hit the wire stop. And then I need to carefully look at where the teeth are sitting. My teeth right now, this thing's pushed in too far because there's a little bit of play here. I'm going to use my finger to push it back. So then I got one tooth, whoops, one tooth that's going to sit on the uh, outside of that, in the, the line on my splice, and the opposite tooth is sitting there going to crimp on the wire. So one's going to crimp on the insulation, one tooth's on the insulation, and one tooth is going to crimp on the wire itself. So I'm going to shove this in, hold it in place, and I'm going to squeeze this thing, start ratcheting it down, making sure to hold that splice into place. Not the easiest thing in the world. There we go. Squeeze it down. When you squeeze it, 
you have to squeeze it down far enough to where it, uh, it hits the stop, and then it will open up, the ratchet will open up. I'm going to inspect my splice. What I want to see is two crimps. I want to see two dimples on there. I see one dimple on the stranded, the bare wire, the tin wire itself. And then the second crimp is on the insulation. Is that a good shot? Can yep. you see that? Mm -hmm. So remember, you need two crimps. So when I look at this, in order for it to be a good splice, I need to see the two crimps. One again on the bare tin wire, and then the second crimp on the insulation itself. And finally, you give it the tug test. A nice tug. You don't uh, stick it under your foot and yank. You'll be able to pull it out of here. So that is uh, one end of that crimp. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So I'm going to grab this wire. I'm going to strip it. 18 gauge. I'm going to pop it. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to put it in and check my depth. One, remember it's got to be in the window, and two, it's got to crimp on the insulation. Perfect. I'm going to lay this in my keeper. It's going to hold it somewhat in spot in place. Remember, I got to manipulate it with my finger here to keep it, to keep those teeth lined up. So I'm going to lightly hold it in place. I'm going to manipulate it with my finger here, which is not so easy as you can see. Holding it. There we go. Holding it lightly. I'm going to, I need three hands really. Now I'm going to crimp it. And then I'm going to inspect it. Same deal. I want to see the two crimps, one on the bare wire, one on the insulation. I can see the wire protruding through the window. I need to see that bare wire. And then finally the tug test. And they're in line. I didn't crimp here on uh, this end and then crimp sideways. You want the two crimps to be, uh, uh, you want it to be perfectly in line. And I should see four indentations. One, two, three, four indentations. And that is your pre-insulated crimp. And that's it for uh, the Practical Lab 1A pre-insulated splices. Yeah,